I look at you and uh, I remember uh, many of you from the previous sessions and this makes me very happy to see you again. With uh, many of you I was working through the year and uh, now it's not yet end of the year to count the numbers and uh, uh, look on what we did, but I think it's a good momentum and uh, an amazing momentum. And I wanted to share with you uh, some of the achievements, some of the new functionalities that we added in the platform. Um, we will see uh, some new examples of how to use the technology and uh, a few new uh, results like uh, uh, from, the, from the projects. Um, I don't know where we are with the slides. Okay. Can I have the slides, please? Just the, the slides. What we are delivering with Druid? We Druid, we Druid based on the technologies that we put it in the platform. We are now able to deliver one single bot for the organization. One single Druid for business. And that will deliver a unified user experience to any persona in the business. So I don't need to go and interact each time with multiple applications, with multiple virtual assistants, with multiple technologies. Everything is consolidated in one single bot that comes preloaded with business skills, that knows to interact with different persona in the business, customer, employee, or partners, and it's able to respond to questions and to complete business transactions on my behalf. And this is very important because in each day I need to complete things. I need information, but I need to complete things and operate within the system. And this is delivered by Druid Megabot. Uh, this year we realize that actually is not you need to incorporate more technologies. We need to coordinate other functional bots as well. So right now, the Druid for Business is the conductor of digital technologies and AI technologies. So it's able to coordinate other applications as well. This year, we reached a new level of Druid technology consumption. This year, we reached 1 billion messages processed all over the world. This number was achieved in August, and right now we are on a different level of adoption. We achieved another peak, more than 2 million known users. These are mainly because of Druid being used by the internal employees. And another high volume, we had a month where we process more than 100 million messages within the respective month. So this, uh, we managed to do this with amazing uptime. Any upgrades that we do each month right now is not stopping the usage of the bots. So technology allows us now to do updates and improvements on the fly, allows you to build virtual assistants and upgrade them on the fly without disruption in the business. So we have been verified again with all the functionalities through the security and we achieved HIPAA compliance in US. Right now, all the healthcare projects and financial services projects are delivered in US regions with HIPAA certificated environment. Big achievement this as well. So what we did this year, and then you'll see the plans for the next year. We invested in four main areas. 
the biggest investment we did in the knowledge base. Right now, the Druid bots are able to connect to any source of data you have in the organization, both structured documents and structured, unstructured documents and structured from your line of business applications. You can inject in Druid knowledge base tickets solved in ServiceNow, in Dynamics, in Salesforce. You can inject contracts and opportunities and offers from SAP or from your core systems. And you surface this data through the conversation. Second, we extended the deployments in the contact centers. We have new integrations with Genesis and we have more projects with Boyd's on the voice. With the projects so far, and you see in, uh, in examples, we managed to deflect up to 60% of the customer support tasks from humans into robots. All the conversations right now are human-like. So I don't need to author each step of the conversation. Everywhere there are AI agents that dynamically flow the conversation. And with that, I want to show you a few examples. May I have my laptop connected, please? So, one big evolution is in, in, in the knowledge base. If I ask now a Druid robot, what solutions you know in financial services? I can say, already traditional, the virtual assistant is giving me a response. So, direct answer to my question. But now, it's able to guide me further with complementary question that the bot automatically creates from the content he discovered. So, he creates insights information on the fly. So, you see, maybe I'm interested to learn more about loan restructuring or what other variations of financial products there are. Or maybe I'm interested in retirement account management or other information in that area. And this is super important because based on this behavior, we realize an increase of 55% in customer satisfaction because they are guided with the question. So I can navigate back and forth, guided by the insights discovered from the bot. Second, the bot is able to integrate with multiple complementary technologies. Look. I trigger another conversation. So now I'm asked in what industry I am interested. What industries you know. And I enabled in here the bot to tell me how he thinks. So you know, now we have the intelligence in the bot to understand what is the required tool to be used. Because in the organization, there is no single technology that can solve everything. I have my unstructured content, I have my operational systems, I have other AI agents, other technologies. So I need a conductor to understand what I'm asking and to identify the right technology. In my case, the bot realizes that my question has the best answer in a database and he creates on the fly the database statement and then he's giving me the information. So FinServe looks good. You notice the human-like conversation, so no longer buttons, no longer options, no longer IVR trees. This is amazing for voice-enabled conversations. 
Um, what solutions I want in financial services, I don't know. What solutions you know in FinServe. Another thing to notice is the terminology. The new generation of AI agents are capable to learn on the fly, based on the conversation context, my way of speaking, my abbreviations, my terminology. So you notice in here quite sophisticated database query. The agents are able to build that ones. And I receive a response like some solutions related to financial services. And yeah, listed a few of them. How many solutions you know in FinServe? So you see, I am able to surface the knowledge in the database in whatever directions I want without predefining these conversation paths. In my opinion, there is no precedent to that in, in the industry. The technology evolved that much that allows us to do these super valuable interactions. Okay, so 68 solutions. Going back now to the slides. What we realized is the pace of innovation in the market. Microsoft invests a lot. Microsoft incorporates AI technologies, digital technologies, and user experience technologies. I remember three years ago when Microsoft Teams was pushed in the organizations, uh, how amazing it was when we added Druid within Teams, allowing users to complete business transactions. The Teams adoption exploded because it was not just used to chat with my colleagues, but to do transactions. In my opinion, I see the same thing happening with Copilot. Copilot is an amazing technology that incorporates all the innovations available right now in the generative AI workspace. One block with all the pieces put it together, working fantastic. Copilot out of the box, when I enable it in my organization, I can connect it to the content sources, loading content from SharePoint, from document repository, looking in the emails, conversations, security. I can enable predefined skills, an amazing library with skills from multiple partners. And I can build, I can develop on top. So just enabling Copilot, from day one, I start using it. And it, it is open to be extended. When I add Druid to Copilot, there is a new Copilot uh, agent extension. It's called Ask Druid. What it happens, the entire set of business skills of Druid, capable to complete business transaction, it's added into my copilot. So interacting with copilot, I benefit from the knowledge within copilot, and I can further complete business transaction through Druid. I also have the freedom to extend. Whenever I want to add new capabilities, new use cases, I have the option where I want to implement this in what technology. But before going into more details, I want to show you a quick demo. Can I have my laptop connected, please? So now we have in front of us Microsoft Copilot. I think many of us, we are already using it. Um, and I can interact with Copilot. My mission today is to create a new sales contract 
with one of my customer and have it registered in my uh, CRM system. So, as always, I go directly to Copilot and ask, I want to create a contract. Copilot loaded with document templates. It's looking for an appropriate template and will guide me. Come on. Okay, looking for templates. In that case, didn't find one, but still it's able to assist me. Yes, I want to create a sales contract. And here you go. I have my contract, contract drafted. This is Copilot, out of the box, working and creating content for me. But actually today, I want to register the contract, to operate the contract in my backend system. So I need to complete a business transaction, not to be just told to draft a document. So using now the Druid extension for Copilot, I can refer my Druid bot with all his business skills. So operating a new chat, I say now this time I am sending the question to Druid. So I need to create a contract. A slightly different answer this time. And you see the Ask Druid extension is replying to me within the copilot. So I don't leave Copilot, I have the same experience, but now I can complete business transactions to Druid. So okay, what type of contract you are looking? I need a sales contract. Done. My contract was successfully created for me. In my CRM, I can go in a CRM and add additional information, or I can continue the conversation and have Druid within Copilot updating this for me. So I'm not leaving the Copilot experience. Druid in Copilot, it's giving me all these business extensions so I can operate. May I have my slides back? As a result, Druid, Druid bringing the business transactions within Copilot, it's increasing the adoption and usage of Copilot, empowering employees, and provides the flexibility, the option for me, for you as an organization, where you want to build new use cases. Whenever you have a new use case, you have the freedom to decide. I am loading simply a new document in Copilot knowledge base. That's fine. Will be consumed. I want to develop. I have my developers with AI Studio to build a new Copilot extension. Perfectly fine. I can develop an application. Or I can look in the Druid library of solutions and we just, I can just enable a new skill within Druid, within my Druid and immediately it's available in Copilot. So all these options are available. Why this, is, uh, this matters? Because I am able right now to provide a single user experience to my employees. And in my opinion, this will be Copilot, the same as all of us, we are staying in Teams each day and complete business transaction. As teams, Copilot becomes an operational mission-critical tool. 
because through the copilot, I am able to complete my daily business tasks. And I don't need to wait months to do that, because Druid comes with a library of predefined business skills. I can enable them tomorrow, I can experience, and then I can improve. The result, what we see in the organization. We are creating the virtual organization. The virtual organization chart, where beside us, we have business skilled, experienced virtual agents that are complementing us and are helping us to complete the daily jobs. So the same like in the traditional work chat, we have different personas collaborating between each other. Now we have our virtual assistants collaborating between each other. This is very important and I like it very much. The robots to do their job, communicating each other with different roles, but also supporting us. So I see this in practice, in practice and I'm working right now on some maturity levels to assess with different clients and partners at what maturity level you are with your virtualized team. Oh wow, I will share this slide from my laptop. May I have my laptop connected again? Uh, this is the uh, roadmap with uh, many things we want to do. I will not go in the details with each box. Um, we are continuing to do what we are already doing, and this was validated. We invest in the conductor capabilities, in the authoring tools that allow us to build AI agents within the platform. New productivity tools will be developed. We are upgrading our analytics to reflect the agent's effectiveness. We are updating our trace tool to be able to see how multiple agents are working together. We are investing in a combination of small language models and large language models. And we want to give the flexibility to choose for each business task what model you want to use. In majority of our projects, we consume OpenAI from Azure subscriptions. And we see there each month new models available, more and more powerful. We developed the automating testing tool that allows you to verify if a particular model version delivers with high accuracy for your specific Druid configurations. So now you are running on, for example, on Turbo 35 and you want to migrate to 40 Mini. Strongly recommended to do so. Before doing that, you can take the entire conversation history or select a period and replay this with the testing agent against the new model and compare the results. So you are in full control of the, cap the upgrade and switch from one large language model to another. We add more support in the knowledge base extractors. Right now we are working to automatically load voice conversations in the contact center as content in the knowledge base. So we are working to do speech to text, to get the transcript, to chunk it, and become content in your knowledge base. This is amazing because right now you are able to replicate the information delivered by the most skilled agents you have in the contact center. There is already available a generic custom data source integration, so you as a partner can develop literally any data source for the Druid knowledge base. We did that to uh, load 
cases from Salesforce, knowledge articles from Salesforce, media articles from Salesforce, uh, the same information from ServiceNow, Zendesk. And we have partners doing that with content in SAP, content in their particular line of business applications. So you can connect the Druid writing low code to any source, the data source in the organization. Contact center and voice enable bots. It's one, one of the strategic directions in Druid and this year I saw many projects in that area. Um, we have uh, speech-to-text, text-to-speech con uh, connected with secured Azure Cognitive Services subscriptions, so you can consume from your uh, Azure cloud, and connected with different contact center technologies. Genesis, NICE, Cisco, Avaya are all available. And we continue to invest in the cloud infrastructure. Together with Microsoft, we roll out, we, now we deliver from a HIPAA certified Azure cloud subscription. All the customers in US are deployed in this region. Uh, in other regions, we have local certified deployments, um, always on, high availability, high performance, and the new contract with PTU for OpenAI services will allow us to service from our own subscription generative AI models. So you have the option to connect to your subscription. Amazing, you can consume from the contract you already have with Microsoft, or you can consume from us. Um, I don't know how I'm staying with my time. Yeah, I'm already over the time. Okay, so um, I will be here through the day. I am already in contact with you. Um, what can I say? It's an, <laughs> it's an amazing momentum based on the technology that is uh, at our disposal. What can be done right now with uh, large language models, with complementary te AI technologies, orchestrated in a good way, secured way, controlled way, with governance, in my opinion, this is like never before. And uh, you customers and partners can package the business experience that you have together with the tool set in Druid and partner technologies and be in the market with a solution within less than a month. I find this very special and never happened in the IT history before. And now you, we can do it. So thank you very much. Looking forward to discover more.